Hey, Naptop here, and these are my lenses. Well, these are actually not lenses. These are filters, these are ND filters, and they range in density. This would be 1.2, 0.6, and 0.9. And these are a 58 millimeter diameter. These are for my Panasonic G85 that I'm shooting this on. This is what I'm carrying my lenses in now. This fits perfectly in my side of my bag. I didn't always use one of these. I used to use this cool little pancake flapjack canister. That's what I call it. It's an aluminum case that is threaded to fit as many filters as you can fit on it. This little storage case is very similar to film reels from the Super 8 and 8 millimeter, 16 millimeter canisters. And that was one of the reasons I got it. My nostalgia for that old filmmaking stuff. I was like, oh, this kind of looks like a little miniature one. And I was just using it for a while as just a holder for micro SD cards and SD cards, which is similar to the tip that Peter McKinnon shared in his video where you can just use the lens cap and the body cap as a little canister to hold stuff. Unrelated because it won't hold your filters. This aluminum canister will, and it doesn't really have a brand name. It goes by a lot of different names. It's one of those kind of products. This one is one that I used for a long time. I recently sold it with a bunch of other stuff, mostly because it was just the wrong diameter. I don't have lenses that size anymore, so I don't need those filters. But I wanted to share it with you guys because it's been so many years now. There's a lot of filmmakers, a lot of vloggers out there showing all kinds of new equipment. And I feel like stuff like this gets lost in the mix. So I wanted to share it with you. And I also wanted to share some pros and cons of this. The things I liked about it and I still like about it is the look of it. When it's just a little aluminum canister, it just looks cool. The downside of that, it's aluminum and it's in your camera bag and it's flopping around and it's doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And I didn't have any issues with my stuff, but it could eventually hit something and break it because it's pretty heavy duty aluminum. Another downside, you load this thing up with all your filters, you drop it, you could dent all of the rings on all your filters and mess all of them up. The other thing that's kind of tricky is getting this threading right. I usually back the threading until I heard a click and then I would thread it on just to be sure that the threads wouldn't get stripped. And that's one of the other downsides of the aluminum is that it's strong enough to actually strip the threads on your filters. It sounds like it has more cons than pros, so I don't know. But either way, I want you to take a look at it. This thing might be a good option for you if you're interested. Check out the link in the description. I think it's cool, it served its purpose. I had it for years. One of the pros of this case is that you can load it up with a whole bunch of filters. I mean, you could have this thing stocked. The downside of that is, the more you have, you gotta eventually get one out, and let's say it's one in the middle, you gotta unscrew two of them to take the one out and then screw it back together to close it. That gets a little tricky sometimes where an actual little bag like this does work a little better. I also used to have a tri-fold wallet that would fold down similar to the one that you see here. And that one worked good. It was just a little too bulky because I used to have a 77 millimeter. Anyways, I know this stuff's really interesting. I'm, this one's going out to you, Dave, because I know you love this stuff. You love camera equipment. And I want to just share as much of this cool stuff that I have and I deal with all the time. And I think a lot of you might not even know about it. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Nop Top, go make something.